Morning friends, Lynn from Bucket List Homestead. If you're new here, welcome. I know I have a lot of new subscribers, so a great big welcome to all my new subscribers and a great big welcome to all my old subscribers. So, oh, what a week it's been. Um, first, I you might have noticed there was only, I think I did think I posted a video this Sunday and there was one that went up yesterday. I had every intentions of posting more videos this week, but a couple of things have stopped me. One, I've been quite ill for the last week. I took two COVID tests. It wasn't COVID. I guess I was just maybe had the flu. Not sure. But I haven't been feeling well at all. And so there was no filming being done. And then when I started feeling better and I tried to post a video I had edited a little bit ago, my internet wasn't cooperating. It took me almost three days to upload one video. So that might be why I was a little scarce. It's also why I couldn't do a live this week. But I am planning on doing a live next week um, on the... But I believe it's the 14th. Let me just double check. Yes, and it's going to be a special live because the 14th is my 8th rebirthday. And that's the day I got my stem cell transplant when I had um, cancer for the second time. So I like to do a live. It's also National Lymphoma. National. It's. Okay. It's non Hodgkin's Lymphoma National Awareness Month. <laughs> that's a mouthful. So I thought that would be a good day to do a live. So I am doing a live. Um, Fingers crossed, internet works, and I'll be able to do a live. So, I've missed filming, and I've missed uh, being able to post videos for all of you. So, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I am back at it. And one of the requests I've had is to show my pantry and how I organize all the stuff that we have as homesteaders. Um, you cannot, at least for me, I cannot be a minimalist and be a homesteader. There's just so much stuff you need. Um, just jars alone take up a ton of space, mason jars. Um, I wish I could be one. I really do, because sometimes the clutter gets to me. But I am by no means perfect. Um, I do like things organized, and I do better organized, but that doesn't mean things are always organized. <laughs> I'm not the only one who lives in this house. <laughs> and just sometimes it's just too much. So I've had a couple of requests, so I thought, okay, I will put my pantry tour and how I organize things in one video. Now, like I said, I am not by any means perfect. And the last couple of weeks, month, my pantry has been an absolute disaster. And if it worked, I did record before. I'm going to put my pantry before in this right here. So our last Costco haul and our haul to the States that you should be seeing that video before this one comes out. Um, stuff is still on the floor in here. It's on the floor in our other room. It's just, it's a mess. And I, I can't, I can't cook and meal plan and all that when things are disorganized. I just can't. It's not in my makeup. It doesn't work. Um, I've lived with it for as long as I can because I had no choice because we've been doing every bit counts challenge. And as the jars have been filling up, it's great, but they're also going every place and they're not organized the way I would like. So like I said, today we're going to be doing the pantry. I wanted to get this done because today was our first day of school for our youngest son, our youngest son, our only son, our youngest child. He started 10th grade today. My baby started 10th grade today. Um, and I wanted to have this organized before he went to school. Um, I'm just going to and show you the after. My husband helped me. Uh, very grateful because the pantry and what we call the store, which is where we have our stockpile, um, were a mess absolute mess and I'm the first to admit it and I just couldn't take it anymore but being sick all week made it really hard to organize it so um I am in my pantry right now so our pantry consists of half of it is our laundry area and you know I my biggest hope is eventually we can push this wall back into the garage because we have lots of space and make this its own area and then this would be all pantry that is what I'm striving for we'll see so Half of it is pantry, and the other, or half of it is laundry, and then the other half, ta-da, here's the after. Doesn't it look good? So, so happy with it, is pantry. And we've lived in this house eight years, and this is the third reno <laughs> we've done for pantry. This we just did in the last two years. Um, I love it. I think it turned out good. My husband made the shelves. We put up the shiplap. Love it. Looks amazing. Um, we originally moved in here. These were plywood or not plywood um mdf boards with big sliding doors and uh the mdf board were chipped they were dipping you know from weight they just weren't working so we took all them down and we put up 
different shelving than this. That was the first reno we did. And that was just, um, I think it was, it was metal boards with just brackets. Again, that wasn't working. And I wanted something that looked a little nicer. But it worked for a few years. You know, it was functional. So we did this during lockdown, <laughs> actually, um, in 2020. We redid all this. And then we put a shelf up here for more. And before I bought this wooden shelving, this is where I hung a lot of our laundry in the winter. Uh, shirts especially but we bought this also because I try to keep all this as baking this is all my baking shelves for anything homemade cookies flour um, I don't keep my flour in here um, that's in a cabinet in the kitchen because I use that pretty regularly um, but chocolate chips powdered sugar baking cocoa uh, baking soda my vanilla my molasses you get it it's my baking shelf so we no longer, I can hang a few things here. And then up here, it's like accessories for um, tips for when I want to decorate, when I want to get a little fancy with decorating. Um, there's like frosting bags with some tips. I want to see what else is up there. Um, maybe some cookie cutters. Over here is, what is over here? Over here is, oh, cupcake liners, muffin liners, um, natural food colorings, things like that. That's what's up there. Up here is blue corn flour and yellow corn flour. So, and then this is beans, dried beans. So, we're pretty happy with this. I actually got this at JISK, J-Y-S-K, which is also Ikea. Um, and, yeah, it, it's working really good. I know all my baking stuff is right there. And then over here, so baskets. How I organize a lot of stuff is baskets. And I get my baskets from the dollar store. Um, I bought just a few extra just this last before I got sick, I bought a few to have, and then I've been purging. Fall for me is, is, is I love it. It's my, my, my season. Um, but I find I actually clean and purge more in the fall than I do in the spring. I'm not sure why. Um, to me, fall almost feels like, I don't want to say a beginning, but it's when I'm getting ready because I love this. From now until um, end of December, I, this is my happiest. Um, don't get me wrong, I love summer for gardening, but I hate the bugs and I hate the humidity. Fall is amazing. The bugs are gone. It's still warm enough to enjoy outside, uh, cool enough to sleep at night, and you don't have the bugs. So, um, and then you have all the holidays, which I love. So I got off on a tangent there. So yeah, so the basket. So I've been purging a lot. So some of these baskets actually came from my closet, too, in my bedroom. And then the rest I already had. And then we also bought these two bookcases during um I knew I didn't want more shelving because I didn't want to have to try and bend down and get things um my back's not the greatest so uh this helps and I'm able to keep my pressure canner here um a big cookie jar and then as you can see like I said see it's not perfect all these mason jars really don't have a place right now um I'm planning on doing a lot of canning this week coming because my tomatoes I finally have enough tomatoes to do some stuff um so they're all right here um, not the greatest, but it's what I have to work with right now. So I've just got them there. Um, this is all of our Ziploc bags and baskets. Um, I got this. This is actually good. This is actually a magazine holder I got from the dollar store. And it holds my, um, parchment, tin foil. Sometimes, sometimes the tin foil is too big and it doesn't fit in that. But that's been a big help. And then all my homemade cleaner is down there. Vinegar and lemons, and some of them have thyme. Vinegar, lemons, and thyme. That's what I use for 99% of our cleaning products. So, yes, and then, of course, I have my dehydrator over here now and because we do have an outlet here. Though, truthfully, it's not working. It's never worked since we moved in here. My husband is going to try and get it working so I can plug the dehydrator in there. If not, I'm going to have to move things off here and put them in the outlet that's there. Um, it's such a waste of an outlet. We're not even sure if it ever worked, <laughs> but we know it hasn't worked since we moved in. Okay, folks, so that is our pantry. Just give you, see if I can, okay. And that's right off our kitchen. And yeah, it's working pretty good. I also, ever since the kids were little, they always have their own baskets, Aiden's, Grace. This is mine my husband's, um, for their snacks for school when they want a snack. Um, we put things in it and then we just take things from the, um, store or stock file and fill them in and they're teenagers and it still <laughs> works. They literally know where to go to look for a snack. So that is our pantry. So the store 
as we call our stockpile is in a room off our kitchen which I've showed you before it is actually I think it's meant to be a dining room maybe I'm not sure we like eating in our kitchen so we've never made this a dining room so this is our store okay the other half is an absolute mess <laughs> right now um, it's got a lot of my craft stuff, which I am determined to get to once harvest season slows down. And anything I can't make with all these supplies, I'm donating. Because I just, I can't take it everywhere anymore. I just can't. So, these are the shelves. We bought at Canadian Tire. And I bought this shelf at Canadian Tire. So, we'll start over here. So, up here, this is where I keep one of my roasters, is in here. Um, I have two. And this is the accessory to my KitchenAid mixer. So... Uh, yeah, this works great for that. Um, this is where I start putting a lot of my canned goods. Um, it's still not organized 100% the way I would like it. I want all this to be um, like the vegetables, the broth, um, yeah, the sweet potatoes, um, my tomato products will be going in here, like all that. That's what I want all on here. And then all of our sweet things like jams, butters, um, the pears, the fruit, juices, all that that I've canned, the pie fillings, they can all be over here. So I still got to tweak it a little bit, but we're getting there. And I hang all my lids. This is where I keep all the majority of my canning supplies on ropes that I just hang from here. I have found this. I've tried baskets. Um, I've tried many ways of organizing. This is the best. Absolute best. Um, and then down on this bottom, that's the rest of the canning supplies. Lids, funnels. Um, what else is in there? You know, canning mats, everything you need for canning. So that's where I try to keep all of it. <laughs> so, and over here again, it's just our snacks and stuff. And this one, I have a roaster down there. I have my uh, water bath canners up there. My great big sterling silver bowl. That works great. <laughs> things can all fit in there. Um, up here is where we have some of the bigger things for the kids for school. Now, up here, this will have... I'll be able to put more um, food items, but right now it does have my big buckets I use for when I did the pears, when I do apples, when I do tomato sauce, all that. But right now a lot of my seeds are drying up there because <laughs> I needed them out of the way. So that is a perfect spot for them. Nobody can knock them over. They're all up there drying, doing their thing. This room also obviously, obviously has big windows and canned goods do not like light. Um, so what I did was I bought these blackout curtains. I mean, and they are blackout. Nothing gets through them. Cold heat, sun, nothing gets through there. So we put these up. Um, yeah, it means I can't always open the windows, but I mean, honestly, other than to come in here and get, um, food, we don't use this space a lot. Um, so yeah. Um, and honestly, the majority of this will be ate up over the winter. Um, I, this is not necessarily long term. Um, storage. Um, if I think it's going to be longer, I put that in the pantry because there's no windows in there. The light's only on for a few minutes and then we turn it off. So yeah, these blackout curtains have been a big help. So that is my pantry organization, my store organization. Um, I'm going to say this because <laughs> I've done this. If you don't have space, you just can't create space <laughs> unless you add on to your home. What you have is what you have. And I've been... <laughs> fighting that for years trying to put things there and there's just no space like unless we build another room it's not happening so this is leading me up to how do you organize all your appliances that we have with um being homesteader kitchenaid mixers your processors your crock pots your da 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 da, -da. that's been a struggle for us um we do have this closet here this is a mess i can't believe i'm going to show you this but i will show you this this is my messy closet. So in here, this is as I'm editing this, I realized I forgot to mention, you might be wondering what that shoe holder is on the back of one of those doors um, in that closet. That is actually our uh, medicine cabinet. It's where um, we keep a majority of our, um, like of, uh, ibuprofen, Aleve, um, there's witch hazel in there. Like, you know, anything you need, you know, bandages, things like that. That's where we keep the majority of them. And it's just one of those um, shoe holders that you get that's supposed to put a pair of shoes in each pocket. I, I bought it. Um, I had to cut one whole row of shoe holders off to fit it on that door. But it's been working for a few years now. So it, it needs to be organized too. But you might be, I forgot to mention that's what's also been renovated since we moved in. 
Um, we put the swing doors on. They weren't there before. And my husband put all new shelving in here and made it a little bit sturdier and we painted. So up here is where I keep all my seasonal stuff. My Christmas dishes, my Thanksgiving dishes, my Easter dishes. Yes, I have dishes for all the holidays. I told you I love the holidays. Um, our seasonal placemats, our um, uh, tablecloths, um, Christmas mugs, basically all the seasonal stuff I try to keep up there. We were keeping it in the garage and we just, the mice are awful here in the winter in the garage and I just couldn't take it anymore. So I made space and I got rid of a lot of stuff. So I could only, whatever can only fit up here is what I kept. Um, again, this is overflow. Things I don't use every day. My cookie sheets. Um, I'm trying to think here. Our big um, electric griddle that I use when we're making up like pancakes and things, which I don't do all the time. Um, there's a few more canning things in there. I keep my blender here. I keep my favorite stock pot down there. The blender. Um, yeah, cookie cutters. A big basket of cookie cutters are in there. So that's all I had to work with for years here. Other than my cabinets. That's all I had to work with. So I've had to get creative <laughs> on what I do. I also, I think what I've had to learn to live with, I have to learn with not clutter, but if I want these things, then I have to be happy with however we've come up the way to store them. That's just the way it is. So we took away <laughs> quite a few cabinets when we did this reno a little over a year ago in our kitchen. I love it. I don't miss the cabinets at all. Um, and quite frankly, they weren't holding. We took the cabinet above the stove down years ago. So that wasn't really holding anything. And everything that was pretty much in the cabinet over here is holding that. That was holding my everyday dishes. my um, And then we just found a thing for our mugs to hang. So, yeah, so that, that didn't. But I did lose that. So these became, I'm not showing you these because these are absolute mess and I haven't gotten to them yet. But this does have like um, my mixing bowls, our Tupperware. This cabinet is absolutely useless right now. It's full of stuff that I don't think we hardly use. So I'm going through that next week. Um, crock pots are in here. I will do some more. And when I come up with what I'm going to do, I hope to film it. So what we did was we bought this microwave cart. This became our tea center. So all my teas are in here. My cookbooks are in here. Um, my dried herbs for teas, that's what's in here. And I also downsized a lot of my cookbooks. I had so many, ridiculous amount. And under here is more, sorry, these are all my tomatoes and things. Under here is where I put a lot of our mugs and a few of the magazines that have some uh, recipes that I like using. So that's what we did with that. So that was working good for all the tea mugs and things like that. But I still needed space for... So, obviously, I keep my electric mixer out um, on my counter. Um, one, she's so pretty. I call her Maeve. Um, I keep her out because she looks pretty, and I use this a lot. It's just too much taking it in and out. It's heavy, and so this is on my counter. The processor, probably after harvest season, this is probably going to go underneath the cabinet somewhere because I probably won't use it as much. Um going forward maybe when we get a bunch of cheese that needs to be shredded so i can freeze it but other than that this will be pretty much put away but right now i'm using it pretty often so she's staying out so i bought we bought this island there's a whole bunch of tomatoes i gotta freeze um so the island and i'm doing this for you mary lynn the island holds our um air fryer my food saver machine um the extra mixing bowls for the KitchenAid mixer the accessories for the air fryer, which, quite frankly, I've hardly ever used, so I don't know if I'm going to hang on to all them. So, yeah, that is my organization. Um, like I said, it's not perfect, um, but I'm going to say 95% of the time it works for us. <laughs> and then sometimes I get frustrated and I find homes for things, <laughs> like out of our home. But I've really, really, really been... Um, trying really hard to keep things that we are using often um, and the things that I'm not using as often like my roasters um, they don't get used as often but they're put away in a nice spot where when I do need them I can get them um, trying to keep them in our closet over there that I showed you was not working um, trying to get them in and out when I was using them was just a pain and they took up so much space 
That being said, I do need to go through that closet too because I know I have some things in there that I don't think I've used in a year. So if I haven't used them in a year, I'm probably not going to use them. So, um, but I am, I'm trying to make good decisions on what we do use a lot and what we don't. So that's my organization. That's my pantry tour. That's my stockpile tour. Um, oh, and I just wanted to say how I keep track of my stockpile. Um, we actually have an Alexa and I have the app on my phone and I created, uh, a store list uh -huh, that's what I call it our store and I literally just tell her when we're adding things you know we have eight things of almond milk for grace we have um, you know eight things of uh, mac and cheese and I keep a list so on my phone because whoever leaves we rarely leave the house without the phone and if I see something on sale I can say wait how many do we actually have because if I have plenty I don't necessarily need to buy more. <laughs> so it helps me like kidney beans and things like that. Um, it helps me keep track of what we have. Um, again, that needs to be updated a bit because we've added to this, we've taken away from this. So we do need to, but it really helps because I don't always remember what I have, um, how many cans of tomatoes I have. And I'm gonna be adding homemade ones to that, um, cans of tomato paste. So yeah, it's, I, you know, it doesn't have to be that one. You can do it with Google. Heck, you can write it on a list and keep it attached to your, um, you know, shelving, written down. I did written down for a long time. Um, it's how I do my freezer, <laughs> which that's another thing I'm going to be organizing <laughs> in the coming weeks because that is quite a mess in there. Um, so yeah, that's my organization. There's no real um, magic trick to it. Um, I've had to learn to live with the space we have. Um, I mean, in a dream world, we would win the lottery and I would have a big, huge craft room where I could keep all my, okay, I'll show you. So, yeah, see, that's a mess. This is all a mess. This is coming out of here. We're going to put this in storage um, for a while because that is only used for when my when we have company and we don't have company very often. So there's no sense of being out here. So, yeah, in a dream world, I would have a place for my books and a craft room, but I don't. Oh, I forgot. We also bought this to hold. That's a bit messy right now. It usually looks a lot better. Um, cause we used to have a hanging thing that we use that we hung from the ceiling to hang all our pots. But when we got rid of all our shell, our cabinets over here, we no longer could use that. So we just picked this up. It wasn't very much. I want to say $40. It's very heavy. It's like wrought iron and it holds all my pots and pans. And in this time of year, this is David's basket for the barbecue that will get packed away. Um, probably in the next month or so. So that's my organization, Mary Lynn. I hope that answered any questions you had about how I organize all the um, appliances. I really don't. <laughs> They're just all tucked away in different areas. And the ones I know I use a lot, I just put up with having to have on my counter. Um, this, I would love to find a home for this. I could put it over on the microwave stand because that's what it's for, but that's where all our tea is. And either I have this here or I have all the tea in the tea kettle here. Either way, something's gonna be on this counter. Um, and right now a lot of things are drying too, a lot of er, um, beans and things. So that's it folks. I have got to go make a cake. Tomorrow is my husband's 50th birthday. So I've got to go get a cake made and get a few chores done around here. And that will be it for the day. So thanks for coming along with me while I showed you our pantry tour. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them. And make sure to look for my live this coming Wednesday, the 14th of September. Till then, take care, God bless, and we'll see you all soon.